Level 15, the decoder, begins with this clever puzzle that looks impossible until you work out the rather simple method. The explosive jar is here, but since it will not explode if the fish is merely moved on top of it, the fish and doll must be brought across the room together so the fish can be dropped onto it. The way to do that is to place one shield here so that the doll can be pushed just one square, then the shield holds the fish in place so it can be moved onto the doll, and then repeat the process, one step at a time, until the fish has been brought all the way along the room. We can then get this mask and enter the second room, which contains a similar puzzle, although here it's two fish rather than a fish and a doll. And again, the fish must be brought along the room together so that one can drop onto the bomb. And the only difficult part is we need to give the other fish a push away from the wall, and that entails using a shield like that to get it one space away. But be careful here. We need to push the lower fish all the way so that when the upper fish drops onto the bomb, it doesn't block our, our access to the door, like so. And we finally have our last letter. It is a D. And we just get returned to the first level. Is that it? Well, what have we found out? Here's our sequence of letters. Any ideas? Me neither. All the same, why was that last level so short, and why was it called the decoder? Could it be that there's more to it? In order to find out, we'll have to start the level again, and fortunately I am using save states. On the actual BBC version we would have to go back and do the entirety of level 14 again to reach this point, which I'm sure you are glad I'm not doing. So all of this first part is the same, but here, instead of going to the door, we explore this area, which contains another very lovely puzzle. To reach the teleporter, we have to get past that bomb without detonating it, and to do that, the explosive jar must be placed in the square above the bomb, but it can't simply be pushed to the left or it will detonate the bomb, so we need to use this doll, like this. We get the doll into place, but we don't want to throw away the chicken because that will be used to detonate the jar. So we use this fish to help get the chicken out of the way, making sure that we remove the dot's force field in the process. Otherwise the fish can't be moved again. And we need to get the fish out of the way so that the explosive jar can be moved above the bomb, and we're through. But this level does not stint on its puzzles, even though it's the last one. Here, we're on the wrong side of the teleporter. I could leave the shield here, and use the other one on the other side with one shield blocking the teleporter, but no, we need both shields on the left. And to achieve that, we have to do something similar to the previous level with the uh, chicken blocking the teleporter, but wait a second. To get the chicken into place, we need to use the doll, and to move the doll, we need both shields which means we need to then rescue both shields from this room so they can be got to the other side. So we need to use the explosive jar as well as the chicken? Oh yes, it's done like this. First we push the chicken one row above the teleporter, that gives us space to get below the jar again. Now we can push the doll down, similar method to before, the shield remains in place. And now one, and then the other can be brought to freedom. But on the other side, progress is blocked by a sad mass. Back on level 10, you remember, we had a puzzle that you could work out what to do and then had to do it in the dark, but this next and last puzzle must be solved in the dark. There's the other sad mass, but it's blocked by an invisible wall. And to bring something down to detonate the wall, we have to remove that dot's force field, but before we do that, uh, let's move this fish across here, and this is something you would probably only find out after playing and failing the level at least once. It's that cruel. So we push the fish across there, that allows us to get the bomb directly below it, you'll see very soon why that's essential. I move the shield above this chicken before releasing it, so that it can be pushed down, and now, um, to get 
to a position to move that fish, I do have to blow up one of the shields and continue with the other one alone, yes. So, we're finally through into the last area of the level. What surprises does it hold in store for us? Well, up here we have a formation of wool that looks like the letter Z. An equals sign? And this is clearly an E. Z equals E. Down here, this is an H. H equals I. Well, this is getting somewhere. And one last statement. B equals U. So where does all that get us? Well, here's our sequence of letters. These are the substitutions. And this is what we get if we make those substitutions. Does that mean anything to you? Well, I'm going to leave it on screen for a few seconds to give you a little time to puzzle this one out. There are in fact two plausible solutions. One is that we're meant to ignore the question marks and exclamation mark, in which case the remaining letters, in reverse order, spell out the word deceitful. Oh yes, XOR is deceitful all right. But just maybe he's deceitful enough to have put this rather obvious solution in front of our faces as a red herring. The other possibility is that the question marks and exclamation marks stand for unknown letters. And I have found only one combination that produces a meaningful word. I'll give you the combination to give you a bit of a better chance to work this out for yourself if you feel so inclined. You have 10 seconds to solve this week's Countdown Conundrum. Did anyone get that? But the odd thing is that regardless of which of those two is the intended solution, and I honestly do not know, both of them, it seems we've gone through these 15 levels to find out something that we knew from the beginning. And even if you complete the level the proper way, as you see, there's no new ending. We just get the letter, we just get taken back to the start. We never find out why our heroes wanted to know Exor's personality or what they will do with that information. The end of the game is as mysterious as its beginning. And that is the end of Exor, but it is not quite the end of this video series. And so I can still say, see you next time.